All right, so let's see how well you actually understand percent. Because if you really do have a good understanding of percent, well, this will be a very easy problem to solve. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. We have three is what percent of eight? Now, feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. And I want you to kind of put your teacher's hat on. So if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I really do understand percent. Well, that is fantastic. I want you to imagine yourself as maybe a tutor or a teacher. How could you explain this to someone else? Because if you can teach a concept really well, that's a good uh, kind of test to show your own understanding of that concept. All right, so three is what percent of eight? Let's take a look at the answer right now. Okay, so three is what percent of eight? The answer is 37.5, 37.5%. Uh, Boy, I would have been remiss if I just said 37.5, 37.5%. We have to have this little percentage symbol right there. And uh, how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let me go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face in A plus a 100% and multiple stars so you can have an extra special day. Boy, I tell you, I remember when I was like in first grade, second grade, way back in the good old 1970s, I think maybe 74, 75, whatever um, the year was. And I felt so special getting those little stars. Anyways, I don't know if they do that anymore, but someone should bring it back if they are not. Okay, so let's get into the solution here. And the solution really is going to depend upon your understanding of what percent is. So if I said, hey, what is percent? Uh, a lot of people would say, well, it's that thing that uses this symbol. Okay, it's this symbol here. Well, it's a little bit more than that. Let's take a look at the definition of percent. Okay, and I'm kind of speaking here a little bit non-technical because we don't want to be overly technical about it. But percent... Uh, is basically a fraction where the denominator is 100. So when we're comparing a number to 100, i.e. Uh, constructing a fraction where the denominator uh, is 100, this top number here is percent. Okay, so if I write the fraction 4 over 100, okay, uh, this number here, I can express this as 4%. So that's effectively the formal definition of percent. But there's a way you can think about percent that comes in very handy. And this is the way we need to think about it uh, for this particular problem, is that percent uh, is some sort of part out of a whole. Okay, this is a good kind of construct, mental kind of, um, you know, way to think about percent as well. So what part out of uh, four is what part out of the entire whole of 100? Well, it's 4%, okay? So thinking of in terms of some part out of a whole, Okay, is another good uh, way to think of percent to be extra redundant here. All right, so these are kind of two good ways to think about percent. Now let's go ahead and apply, uh, namely this uh, way of thinking about percent to this problem. Okay, so three is what percent of eight? Okay, well three uh, is what percent of eight? Well, let's think of this as a part out of a whole situation. What we're trying to figure out is three, okay, right here, is what, this is the part, okay, um, out of how, out of a greater whole, right? So the part here is three, the whole is eight, okay? I just kind of stumbled over my words here. You know, how much is three out of eight? That's kind of how we're trying to express this, and we want to express this in terms of percent, okay? How much is three out of eight? Well, you could write a fraction, three eighths, right? Well, that's pretty good, but here's the deal, right? We, after we set this up, uh, three is a part and eight is the whole, we have the fraction three over eight, but this is not percent, okay? Now, why is this not percent? Because remember percent, the definition of percent is the denominator over here has to be 100, okay? So like four out of 100, this number here is 4%. Here we have three over eight, so this is not 100, okay? So we're gonna have to do a little uh, tweaking here, but this is no big deal. Now, before we continue on, I have a quick question for you. Are you enjoying this content? Well, if you are, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well. I will definitely uh, appreciate that. Also, if you need additional help in math, check out my math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. 
Also, I'm going to give you uh, some specific recommendations at the end of this video. All right, so let's get back to the problem. All right, so our answer is 3 over 8, but our answer is in fraction form, not percentage. We want to express a fraction as a percent. And let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so how do we express a fraction as a percentage? Well, this is basically how you do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is convert that fraction to a decimal, all right? And then next, we're going to uh, take that decimal and we're going to multiply the decimal by 100, right? Pretty simple arithmetic here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first part and convert a fraction to a decimal. So our, remember, our fraction here is 3 over 8, this part out of a whole. So how do I turn this into a decimal? Pretty easy. All we literally do is take 3 divided by 8 on our calculators. We get 0.375. Of course, you could do this by hand, but that would be, uh, you know, not that fun, all right? And I like math, but, you know, I really don't want to be doing this. Go in and feel free to use your calculator. But um, remember, your calculator is a tool, right? You need to be able to direct your calculator appropriately. Just don't type in a bunch of numbers and hope you get the right answer. Right? That's what I was trying to, um, you know, kind of tell you in the beginning, because if you did get this answer right, but you just weren't quite sure, then, you know, this is why I'm reviewing this step by step. All right, so step number one, okay, we're going to convert the fraction to a decimal. So three, uh, three eighths, three divided by eight is the decimal uh, equivalent of 0.375. Now we're going to take that decimal, uh, you're going to multiply that decimal by 100. So 0.375, you could do this in your calculator, you multiply that by 100, you get 37.5%. That is the final answer. But an easy way to go from decimal to percentage is um, also to move the decimal point over two places to the right, okay? Uh, for example, let's just talk about this real quick. Um, so we have 37.5% as our answer. If I wanted to express 37.5%, how do I go from percent to a decimal, okay? Well, what you do is you go backwards. You move the decimal point over two places to the left. That's 0.375, okay? But if I want to go from 3.375 back to percent, well, I got to move that decimal point back. So two places to the right is effectively what's going to happen when you multiply by 100. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.